Well, again, everybody, this is a follow-up to my video, Are You a Commuter?, where I pointed out that 19 times 37 equals 37 times 19. We also talked about a couple palindromes. Here's a good one for you. Super bad, super dad, that's me. Dad is a nice, simple palindrome because dads are pretty simple. Um, we talked about powers of 11 as well. Today I want to generalize that by looking at the binomial expansion. Let's say you have x plus a to the n. If you multiply that out, you're going to get 1 times x to the n plus a certain number of terms with 1 less x and 1a plus a certain number of terms with 2 less x's and 2 a's all the way down to a certain number of terms with 1x and n minus 1a's, plus finally a term with 1a to the n. You'll notice something interesting here. The sum of the exponents is always equal to, that's right, n. You add those up or add those up or add them up for any of those terms. Now let's look at that in more specifics. If we have x plus a to the 0, anything to the 0, of course, is 1. x plus a to the 1 is just x plus a, because anything to the 1 is itself. x plus a squared is x squared plus 2ax plus a squared. x plus a cubed is x cubed plus 3ax squared plus 3 a squared x plus a cubed. I could have switched these two terms so that the, um, although this is just fine. Oh, and this one gives you x to the fourth plus 4ax cubed plus 6a squared x squared plus 4a cubed x plus a x a to the 4. If we take the coefficients, here it's just the number 1, here it's 1 and 1, here it's 1, 2 and 1, here it's 1, 3, 3 and 1, and here it's 1, 4, 6, 4 and 1, you get Pascal's triangle. 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 3, 3, 1, 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. Now, if I compare that to powers of 11, like we did in the last video or recent video, we get the following. 11 to the 0 is 1. 11 to the 1 is 11. 11 squared equals 121. 11 cubed is 1, 3, 3, 1. 11 to the 4 is 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. And then we thought it broke down because 11 to the 5 is 1, 6, 1, 0, 5, 1, which is not a palindrome. But remember we talked about how you can get 11 to the 5 from this answer. It's this times 11, which is 10 of these plus 1 of those. So if I take 1 of those and add... 10 of them, I get this number up here. But if I use, as I mentioned before, the letter A for 10, I get that number, which again is a palindrome. If I then want to get 11 to the 6, I just have to add this plus 10 more of these, which is what I get by just moving those numbers over one place. And then I get 1, 6, 15, 20, 15, 6, 1, without doing any carrying. Remember, A was 10. Those turn out to be the corresponding, though, in Pascal's triangle. 
So we can actually get the numbers in Pascal's triangle by doing powers of 11 and not carrying, just having two digit numbers in there. Try it for 11 to the 7. See how it works out. Isn't that fascinating? Thanks for watching. See you next time.